Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Most of you know that I just went through Hurricane Ida, and I'm sure that a lot of you just went through it too, because I have a huge audience down here in Southeast Louisiana, and a lot of you probably don't have your internet back. Quite a few of you don't have your electricity back. I went without power for five nights. Now the power came on Friday, and this is a Sunday, so tomorrow is Labor Day. Whew. Yeah, I've had a lot going on since the power came back on. I was busy. I was busy when the power was off. Now I'm busy still. I had a lot going on today, but now it's time to head out and fish this afternoon. This will be my first outing on the bike with the trailer since the storm. So we're going to go look at stuff that I haven't seen yet. We're going to catch some fish. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's do it. Look at all that free wood right there. Everything seems kind of normal right now until you get to a place where something like that happened. Huge oak tree. A lot of the houses in this neighborhood didn't get any damage or minimal damage. Some of them are missing shingles, but nobody lost all their, you know, nobody lost their whole roof here. It's different in other places. Other places had it far worse than Bell Chase did. I'm at a different neighborhood. I'm just on the edge of it. Let's come down a little bit. There's a lot of piles of tree limbs. This neighborhood has more blue tarps on the roofs than some of them. It's mostly the rooftops that are a higher pitch rather than these lower ones. You haven't figured it out yet yeah i'm on barrier road i'm here to get some bait do a little bass fishing i want to do the river tomorrow but i want to have fun catching bass huh let's come let's come look at this i was hoping that this pond here would be a little less choked than this i was hoping that the high water would have took some of this hyacinth out but no there's just as much here as there was before the storm huh there's activity right in here though, but I think it's mostly gar and it stinks over here too. It's got this ugh, bad water smell. It smells kind of like sewage. Good thing we're not doing a catch and cook. We're just getting bait because I don't really like eating something from somewhere that smells like a septic tank. But I want to try something while I'm here because I want to see if it's just gar or if there's a bass down there. So we got to Cinco on right here on a uh, three, I'm sorry, three ot offset worm hook by Gamagatsu. So there's actually two culverts here. They're both metal. This one, you can't tell that it's there. It's camouflaged. It's covered with stuff. Which one? Let's try to get for the sketchy one right here. I mean, that one's actually the sketchy one because it moves a lot. Where's my feet gonna go? Can't see my footing here. Man, it stinks. There's a lot of bait right out in there. A lot of small minnows swimming around. And occasionally something knocking them off, but I think it it's likely to be spotted gar. There's probably bass mixed in with them too. Oh, I just figured out what I'm smelling right on the edge of this hyacinth. I see at least one big dead fish. I don't know what that is. Maybe a gar or a carp. One of the two. Maybe it's a carp. It just smells putrid over here. That's probably what's going on. There might be more dead fish in here. It's the same sort of smell that's coming from the bayou. Oh, there's a gar right there. Yeah. That was a spotted gar that just came up to the top. Yeah, no wonder it stinks over here. Maybe the uh, storm killed a bunch of fish or left them high and dry. Because it smells like, like a septic tank and dead fish mixed together. Dead fish septic soup. Another dead fish over there. There's got to be numerous ones here because 
it's so bad it can't just be one or two fish there's a bunch of dead fish oh and a big gar over there or bass i'm not sure it could either one i want to say gar i'm over at the bayou or the canal whichever you want to call it there's too much hyacinth choking the banks of the pond so i'm not going to fish over there kind of stinks over there but stinks over here too time is a ticking i'm gonna give up on bass for the moment and just try to get some bait for tomorrow's catfish session on the river it's going to be an interesting evening i'm not too concerned about it but there is still a curfew in place which goes from 6 p.m to 6 a.m in this parish i have been out past it plenty of times and had no problems probably because i was walking the dogs but yeah should be fine should be fine let's get some bait we're just gonna drop shot a red wiggler it is five right now i didn't have my bail open let's do that again there we go yes we don't have a lot of time left we have a little over two hours to fish before it's dark it was kind of a hot day sort of it was like 91 which gave us a feel temp of 103 it's probably feeling more like 100 with the field temp that has to do with the humidity but the sun is setting there's a bit of a hazy cloud it's blocking the worst of it from us right now and there's a bit of a breeze too there was somebody fishing here before i came here when i was over at the culvert there was a family over here i don't know if they left because they weren't catching fish or what's up but i'm not getting bites they gotta be somewhere around here I think the floodwaters from all that rain, the storm brought us, dredged up a lot of the bottom sediment because that's what it smells like over here. When you go into a, a bayou like this, your feet are going to come out black. At the bottom, there's all this sediment that has that is just black as night and it's going to smell like sulfur. It's going to stink really bad. And that's what this water looks like right now. Like it's got a lot of that bottom sediment dredged up. It was probably rushing through here. We are going to have to take a journey to try and find healthy water with fish biting in it. I'm going to take a shortcut through here. I'm using this jogging path to quickly get to the back of this pond. Hopefully the water is a lot better back here. Hopefully it doesn't stink like the bottom sediment. And hopefully it's not so choked we can fish from the bank. This storm has caused more problems than you know. Ah, oh, it's gonna smell back here too. Carp, and maybe a couple other things. These look like some kind of pan fish right here. That's a good sized gill. That is um, a shad, and there's another pan fish. So we got three carp, one gill, I mean two gills, and a shad. A lot of dead fish that's why it stinks to high heaven back in here yeah this storm has caused a lot of problems that you just can't see right now they're not like on common paths oh there's more dead fish over here too i've got logistical problems up the wazoo this week with stuff that is stuck in the post office stuff that is stuck in transit because the post office isn't open i can't get any answers from the postal service not clear answers and i can't get any answers from fedex and other people that are sh shipping stuff i know a lot of you are expecting me to open packages you sent here pretty soon we're gonna have one giant fan mail video because there's a lot of stuff stuff i've purchased and stuff people have sent that is either stuck in transit or just sitting in a post office that's shut We've got more dead carp here shad and panfish more dead carp right down in here i didn't set out to make a fish kill video but that's what we got here dead carp we're gonna have to come out here and do a carp fishing video because obviously this pond is full of carp I haven't seen a largemouth yet unless yeah that might be a largemouth right there by my foot 
lots of panfish up here. There's a crappie, sockele right there. More carp. I don't know if that is a giant bluegill or no, that's a warmoth right there. I think it's just bloated. It must have pushed water up in here. There's a bass right there. Another gill. Some of these fish could have been up in up here and got stranded or something killed them. There's a lot of dead fish floating out in here. I think this back end of the pond is shallow. More dead carp. These are all common carp, by the way. Not the uh, silver or big head. Man, I thought I would get away from the bad smell coming back here. It's actually worse back here. Where I've parked the bike is kind of high up and there's no dead fish like basically up where we're walking right here. It's, they're all real close to the water and you can see the previous water line is about four to five feet up from there over where we just were and not so much right here. Maybe it came up into here. It looks like it was here. Let's see if we can find a fish that's alive. Might be a lot of work to get a live fish. I have some ideas that I'm working on in my head why I'm finding a lot of dead fish. And it has to do with what I was talking about earlier, the smell of the sediment. Usually you don't smell it unless you disturb it. And the water's like a really thick black color right now. So it smells like the sediment was disturbed. It's possible that some of these fish died because they were left high and dry when the water succeed when the water went down but a lot of them are in the water floating so it's very possible that oxygen levels got depleted right here i haven't heard reports like this from anyone from anywhere else around the area but of course not everybody's online not everybody has power not everybody has internet more dead carp here it's interesting we're seeing more dead carp and uh shad than anything else and we haven't found a giant bass yet just a small dink there's like a those are like about eight pound fish right there those two commons floating there i'm going to drop my worm down in this ditch here that's coming off this pond sometimes i catch cichlids and red spotted sunfish here have not seen a dead cichlid yet One of those carp is kind of on the bank. So some are up on the bank that I'm finding and others are floating in the water. It's anybody's guess. It's two main factors that I think that are affecting this fish kill. Water quality, and then some of them could have just got left high and dry. At first, I really wanted to avoid coming back here with the bike and trailer because it's a lot of work getting through this uh tall stuff pretty soon it won't be for me but right now it is now i'm into it because i want i want to keep investigating can we get a live fish here maybe all the live fish are in deeper water not so much here we're running out of time to go to the where the deeper water is around here you could always speculate that some kind of chemical got in the water somehow because of the storm but it it could be something more simple than that. There is a lot of life in the water still. I see minnows everywhere, signs of bait. So there's gotta be something still alive. See, there's fish. Well, most of the fish that I see active are gar. I think that was a spotted gar that just broke the water over there. We're gonna throw this worm out that way there was another spotted gar that broke the water gar can do just fine in oxygen depleted water i don't think i've seen a bullhead dead yet either they can bury themselves in the mud and be fine too i think if i hurry i might be able to get to a deeper water spot that's at the end of the road before we lose light I'm not having any luck here. I haven't had a bite yet. All right, guys, I'm making a quick pit stop on my way to deep water to check this out. Let me get here. This is the worst smelling spot so far. Look at it. This, this pool here, 
under this culvert is just full of dead fish. Some of them are sizable carp and some sizable shad. But look at it, small and big, just a ton of dead fish. Tons and tons of dead fish, dead fish everywhere. Oh, I hope this isn't a skunk video, but does it count when all the fish are dead? Is it still a skunk video even though they're all dead? There's gotta be something live somewhere. Usually, oh my goodness, look at all that. Dead fish right in there. It's just dead fish everywhere. Do you think there's something alive down there? We have a few minutes. I don't know, this is a dead fish video, isn't it? Let's drop this worm down there. Usually when you drop a worm somewhere around here, it's like a match and a can of gas. You catch something, but I guess you're not if they're all dead. I've had a pretty productive day already. I was hoping to have some productive fishing. I didn't expect this, let me tell you. I got rid of the Florida man look, if you didn't notice already. And I did a bunch of other work as well out in the sun and the heat. I don't know how long I can mess around up here. There might not be anything. I mean, look, look at the water just being speckled, speckled by stuff. I don't know what that is. And look at that slick. There's a bit of what looks like an oil slick. I haven't seen this slick anywhere else where I've been today, but just here. So could have something to do with it. But this is the only spot where I've seen a slick like this. I don't know what that is. Diesel, oil, maybe and it's anybody's guess. It's probably some kind of petroleum product for sure. All right, guys, this is the end of Barrier Road. It's a pumping station just past the bridge. Can't go past here. There's a gate on the bridge. There's no trespassing signs. Let's see what we're going to find here. Doesn't smell good. You can see by what I'm standing on that the water level during the storm came up here. There's a lot of sediment up here too that wasn't before. Look how stagnant it is up against these rocks here. There's a bit of flow right now probably because of the wind. This, oh my goodness, I just got a whiff of something bad, like really sharp stench. There is some activity here. I think it's gar mostly. This water right here is deep deeper in comparison to most things along here. This is called Bayou Barrier or Bayou Barrier. Both pronunciations are used. By all accounts, it looks like a canal when you're driving down here, but it's actually a bayou that's been restricted to a canal. And it's got two pumping stations on it. This one and one further down over, over on the other side of Highway 23. You access that one by 406 or Woodland Highway. Man, it smells worse here than anywhere. I don't see any dead fish yet though, but boy, howdy do I smell them. We'll give it a try though. Just the red worm, as long as we don't get bothered by people. Sometimes people come down here to have a private moment in their truck. I'm gonna try and get ahead of some of this stagnant water. Drop this worm down off the rocks see if there's anything alive here there's got it it can't be all dead i haven't encountered that many dead fish if they were all dead i would have encountered millions and millions and millions of floaters and that's just not the case maybe there's maybe i've encountered at, at least five six hundred dead fish especially at that last culvert we were just at that had a lot as well I wonder if the flood water released a lot of gas along with that sediment because the sediment can trap gas and the gas escapes every now and then and you see the bubbles and people will say oh there must be a fish there because there's bubbles but no it's not it's, it's gas releasing from the bottom okay we found our first dead fish down here got some right up on the rocks it's a got a gill right there and shad i don't know what all that is but at least a couple of them are shad uh what a disappointment it has turned out to be today this like i said this was a fairly productive day for me outside of fishing got a lot done this morning and around noon i can't even go get some kind of good stuff to get me out of this bad mood because the grocery stores are closed they close normally now they're going to close at five 
because curfew's at six, but because today is Sunday, they closed even earlier than five. Not that I need anything. You know, we haven't seen any alligators today. Usually there's a bunch along here and in that pond. Babies and big ones. Haven't seen a one. That tells you something right there. Man, I about had it. Let me address the elephant in the room real quick because I bet a bunch of people have already commented about it. And that is salt water. I have not mentioned that as a possibility yet for this fish kill because we're still inside the flood wall and the levee system. It's possible, but I don't, it would have, it wasn't that big of a deal here flood wise. This is mostly flooded from rain and there was not a storm surge that I know of. I'm pretty sure the only thing I heard of was a bit of a splash over on the wall down here and this is inside the flood wall this is inside the protection this is not tidal this is not near any any point where storm surge could get into it unless it was really coming unless we would be talking about a breach if salt water got in here we'd be talking about a wall breach or a levee breach and we did not have that we had some splash over but not enough to do this on bayou barrier or by your barrier, however you like to say it, this far up. I think this is uh, more likely going to be sediment getting disturbed, oxygen depleted because of that, and then some fish got left high and dry because the, the water level did come up here a bit over the normal point. Like these rocks right here were probably underwater during the storm. I mean, it rained for more than 12 hours here, a long time it rained a long time so let's work our way out of here maybe hit another spot or two if it was salt water uh, i still don't think you would have had as big of a fish kill because a lot of the species that we see dead can survive in brackish water and so i think it's a oxygen depletion along with some fish left high and dry when the water receded but I'm, I'm going to put my money on lack of oxygen. All right, up here on this bridge, we still have stagnant water. Look, we got a bit of a slick on this water too. I don't know if that's oil or what that is, but, and it stinks. It smells like everything else has. I, I don't see any dead fish yet, but I'm sure they're down there. We're gonna drop this wet, wet, red wiggler in certain places <sighs> not ready to give up yet but dang close i still i'm not sure what that slick is from looks like diesel some kind of fuel there's a lot of it right here doesn't have to be could be anything there's a lot of it though let's do a little exploration on the slick idea it's possibly fuel possibly not but let's let's check something real quick Anyway, I got a match. Just kidding. This bridge leads to the back gate of this base here. It's a military base. It don't look like anybody's been through here since the storm because there's still debris laying down. Well, there's a ditch that's coming off it that feeds this. Let's look at it. I wish I could go over there and fish, but of course I can't. There's a lot of activity over there. This is a bit snaggy right here. As you can see, it's stag stagnant for sure. And that slick is here. Not 100% sure if this slick is natural or a petroleum product or some other chemical. It looks like oil or diesel fuel, same kind of slick. Don't know if that's what's caused the fish kill or if it's what I was first talking about. You know, depletion of oxygen from sediment and gases being disturbed. All right, we're going to try this one last spot around this bridge. Now, hurricanes have caused fish kills in the past before, and the fish kills have been for different reasons. I just ran into somebody who told me of a fish kill they ran into right after the storm a few days ago on the river where they found a lot of dead fish and dead squid washed up on the bank and floating in the water. 
fish kills in the past that were connected to hurricanes were for similar reasons like salt water went up into freshwater places or fish got left high and dry and pollution hurricanes can cause fuel pollution into the water and other things you know like when a petroleum place got flooded in Chalmette during Katrina and there was petroleum products everywhere in the neighborhood when the water receded everybody had Texas gold on their lawn you would have to come out here and test this water to be sure whether it's a chemical or something else but definitely oxygen depletion is is the reason these fish are dying and why there is oxygen depletion well that is yet to be determined so i'm definitely standing firm on oxygen depletion here because i haven't found any dead gar or bullheads and those two species can survive in water that is heavily depleted of oxygen I haven't found any cichlids but i don't know if cichlids can take low oxygen water just haven't found any dead cichlids here up from the bridge you can definitely see the slick don't know if it is a petroleum product or if it's just stagnant water but it looks like an oil slick to me a bit don't it all right guys either a spillage pollution or some kind of natural oxygen depletion i don't know it's one of the three but i've had enough of it the smell has gotten to me We'll have to come out and target these gar because it's the one thing that I see super active right now. How long do I think this is going to last? How long do I think it'll take this bayou to come back? Maybe a couple of weeks, maybe longer. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on it. It's kind of heartbreaking. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And I promise the next video won't be a skunk video. But as far as skunk videos go, this is a more interesting one because I don't usually release them, guys. All right, see you next time.